A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. TVNZ colleagues pay tribute to camera operator after his disappearance. The TVNZ camera operator's work has been praised on social media. Colleagues have said, while his fiance is frustrated that police initially deemed his disappearance a low risk. Meanwhile, Day's phone and Facebook Messenger accounts are still active. The fiancé says she is angry that police didn't track his phone, as it might have revealed his location. However, she remains hopeful for his family. Joseph Day TVNZ colleagues pay tribute to camera operator. After he disappeared on Saturday night, Joseph Day's long-term partner and fellow TVNZ colleague, Pelsi Mulcahy, paid tribute to him. Mr. Day worked as a camera operator for the TVNZ network in New Zealand. His phone and text messages went unanswered until 8.45 p.m. local time on Sunday. Kelsey was in London visiting friends. She was messaging her long-term partner about the missing camera operator, but by the time she got home, Mr. Day had not responded to her message. Sir, the death of Joe Day has shocked his colleagues and friends. One colleague, Andrew McFarlane, who now lives in Australia, said that he was a brilliant camera operator. Another TVNZ employee, Daniel Fatawa, described Mr. Day as a great friend. He also said he had sent his condolences to the Day family. And Sunday reporter Mother Morid, who is based in Australia, said the loss of Joe Day has touched all of his colleagues and friends. The news that the body of a camera operator had been found in a river near Bristol has touched TVNZ employees. His colleagues have also paid tribute to his talents. In the wake of the news, a give a little page set up by his friends has already raised more than zero. It's not known if Day's death was a suicide or a tragic accident, but the network is ensuring its employees are doing everything they can to help the family cope with the loss. Kelsey Mulcahy, Day's fiancé, last heard from him at 9.30 p.m. on Saturday. She went to London without hearing from him and raised the alarm when she returned home to find him missing. She posted an appeal on social media for help finding her husband. After enduring long interviews with police, Kelsey realized that Joseph Day had not returned home. Her phone and keys were nowhere to be seen, and she had not slept in since she left the city. Day's work has been praised on social media. The work of a TVNZ camera operator is praised across social media, and it was the subject of a recent feature. Joseph Day, a camera operator for the local broadcaster, went missing last Saturday night after not answering phone calls from his girlfriend. His disappearance was a total departure from his normal self, prompting a desperate search and public appeal for information. His last known whereabouts were the upmarket Clifton area of Bristol, where he lived with his partner of five years, Kelsey Mulcahy. His body was discovered on Sunday morning in the awe-inspiring Avon Gorge. Day's phone and Facebook Messenger accounts are still showing as active. Police in Bristol, England have begun tracing Day's phone to help them determine what happened to him. A public appeal was set up late Monday by police. Friends have been installing posters of Day around Bristol. Day is believed to have left his home in Clifton in England on foot, wearing a dark jacket and cap. He is about 180 centimeters tall and of an athletic build. His phone and Facebook Messenger account are still showing as active and no response from his parents. A friend of the family of the missing TVNZ cameraman has set up a give a little page for fundraising. So far, the page has collected over zero. It is unclear whether Day's phone will be located or will remain on the network. Friends of the family are hoping to locate him as soon as possible. Until then, they are asking for donations. The police continue to investigate the circumstances surrounding his death. As of Tuesday, May 3, 2022, Facebook Messenger will be offline. The application will post a schedule for maintenance and an update on the status. If you encounter problems with the application, leave feedback in the comments section below. We hope you will be able to find Joseph Day. So far, we are not able to determine why his Facebook account is still showing as active. There are some possible reasons for the account to remain active. Day's fiancé frustrated that police initially deemed his disappearance as low risk. Kelsey Mulcahy, 31, is furious that police initially deemed her boyfriend's disappearance a low risk. 
she is furious, that day, a New Zealander, had been missing for three days. Day was due to visit Bath Spa today. Her fiancé, Kelsey Mulcahy, has been texting Day since 9 p.m., but hasn't heard from him since. Mulcahy, who works in the TV industry, said her partner had last spoken to her at around 9.30 on Saturday night. After returning from a job interview in London, she began to grow increasingly alarmed about Day's disappearance. She contacted the Herald newspaper and appealed for help on social media, but received long police interviews. She said the police were slow to launch a search. Day's family says he was a brilliantly talented Digicom operator. Television New Zealand colleagues have paid tribute to a brilliantly talented Digicom operator who was missing for almost a week. The missing man, a former cameraman at the National Broadcaster, was last seen on Saturday night, walking near the Avon Gorge in Bristol, UK. His body has since been found in the nearby Avon Gorge, about two kilometers from where he lived. Although no formal identification has yet been made, his body was discovered near the river Kelsey Mulpetty, a colleague of Day's, has paid tribute to the TV and Zikama operator. Day was brilliant and had a unique way of getting people to talk in front of the camera. Her close relationship with him made her a better colleague than she had ever known.